holding a rainbow dish. So pretty. Hi everyone! Welcome back! Chào các bạn! Hope you guys are all having a good week. Today I'm going to be making Koha Kutu. So Koha Kutu is a Japanese crystal jelly candy. Translated is basically means amber sugar. So I've actually saw it on TV and it looks so pretty so I wanted to try to make it so I watched a bunch of videos and it seems simple enough so I'm gonna attempt to make it today first time making it and the ingredients are very simple it's just water agar agar powder and sugar so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use one teaspoon of powder to one cup of liquid so in the pot I have five cups of water so I'm going to use five teaspoons just mix the powder in make sure it's completely dissolved and once it's all dissolved, I'm going to bring the water to a full boil for a few minutes, about 2-3 minutes. Now it's boiling, I'm going to put in sugar as much as you'd like. I have about 2 cups in here. Until it's completely dissolved when you the water is clear. Don't see any of the sugar left in there. We're going to core pour it in about three and a half quarters deep. Just do it like that much. I'm going to do two pans just so I can get different colors in there. Can I just twirl it in? So this one I'm just going to do blue, green, and let's do red. So you guys can tell I didn't mix this one up that much. I wanted to just leave the clumps, the colors in by itself a little bit. I didn't mix it up. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it set for about an hour to two hours in the fridge. Once it's set, I'll bring it out and I'll show you guys how to do the crystals. This is how it looks once it's out of the mold. It's really pretty. The agar agar actually does a lot of amazing stuff. Look at the color. It's really, really pretty. Once you actually break it into the crystal sh shards, it will actually look a lot prettier too. So here, I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna break it apart. Mm. You can actually, that one I'm gonna cut. Just break it into small parts. That's too big. Just make it so it looks like actual crystals. You can be really creative with this. You can do a lot of stuff. Make it into different shapes, put it in molds. You can do um, different designs for cakes and stuff. This one I feel like I didn't use enough agar, so it's not as firm. Oh no. Not as firm. So in that case, 
Then for a future, what you can do is use a little bit more agar agar powder. The ratio compared to water. <laughs> Still really pretty though. You know what, I'm actually not going to use this one because I feel like it's too flimsy. So when it dries, I feel like it won't be that good. I'm going to use another one. rainbow dish so pretty so this one I'm gonna cut into little crystal sh um, shapes Do however you like. Just cut whatever size shapes you want. It's gonna be really pretty when it dries. Because when it dries, it's gonna be outside it's gonna be a crystallized sugar. So it's gonna be hard. The inside is still gonna be very soft and chewy. Even like this alone, look at it, it's so pretty. But once it crystallizes and uh, dries over the next few days, it's going to look like an actual crystal gem. With the colors, you can um, mix the different colors too, but I just used the um, primary colors. So, spread it apart, make sure there's enough space between each of them so they can dry properly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry, just naturally air dry like this for anywhere from 3 to 5 days. And once it's completely dry, the outside is going to look a very... Um, it's like going to be a crystallized sugar and then inside it's still going to be very soft and chewy so we'll see in a few days it's been five days and it's dried it's very hard on the outside But it, it's going to be soft and jelly on the inside. Look at the texture. Looks exactly like gems. They're so beautiful. I like this platter better because the colors resemble more like a gem. The colors are better combined. Most of them are fully hardened, but there are some that, because I made them a little bit thicker, they could go maybe another day or so. But I'm so, so amazed that I did this. Look at it. This looks like a gem that I would just pick up at the store. Look at the color of it. You actually look up close to the outside. It's very crystallized and you can see like all the different markings. But yet, it's squishy. I can still squish it because the inside is still jelly. Taste it.
just tastes like pure sugar. It's really sweet. But the outside has a really nice crunch. Look at this. So beautiful. Love the colors. Love, love the colors. So what I'm going to do, this is really not for me because it's really sweet, but these Koha Kutus are actually really well known in Japan. I've actually seen a lot of people um, do beautiful, beautiful things with these. They make so many different designs and shapes and, and so many different varieties and the, the um, things that you can do with these is limitless. You can go and do whatever your mind can come up with. So what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to actually pack it up. Because these you can actually, after once it's dried, you can keep it for about two to four weeks. So I went out and bought these um, cookie bags. I think I got about eight for a, a dollar. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill it like that. So as you can tell, it's actually pretty, pretty hard. But there's a few that could go a little, maybe another day, because I can still feel that it's a little bit sticky. Like this one's a little bit sticky because it's bigger. But it's okay. Wow, look at this bag. Look at those colors. Once it goes into the bag like this, the vibrant colors actually look a lot better. So this kohakutu, people usually have it served with tea, along with like some biscuits and stuff. But I wanted to try and make it and it turned out really well. I think I did pretty good for my first time. I really love the colors. It's amazing. It's actually growing on me. There you go. So anyways, this is my first attempt making kohakutu. And I think I did really well. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you guys have any ideas to share with these candies. Um, and comment below. I'll share a reply. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for joining me. Hope you guys have a good week. Bye.